All right. So uh, maybe you can see in there a little bit better now. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, you see all that flaky stuff. That's just uh, that's just extra carbon buildup. And so um, I've rotated this and made sure that the valve is all the way up. So whenever I start knocking this crap loose, it's not going to fall back down inside the cylinder and, and scratch up the cylinder walls. Um, let's see here. I've, uh, I've sprayed it down a couple of times um, with some carb cleaner. Like I said, hopefully to just uh, loosen some of that stuff up, maybe let it a little bit easier to, uh, to get out. But um, I've got a couple of... I got a Dremel, and um, this right here is just a nylon um, bristle brush. So I'm hoping I can use that. That's going to be the less abrasive. Um, what the heck is all that? Anyways, that's going to be the less abrasive, um, and hopefully that'll get most of it out. So I'm going to try and do this. I don't, I don't know if you'll be able to see much or not. Um, but at least we'll give it a shot anyways. And I'm doing this blind so I might do a little bit just so you'll see what I'm talking about and then move you out of the way and actually get it done. But I'll do it on this side and that side. I had to switch over to uh, to the uh, brass brush, but I was getting a lot of junk out. So let's see. But you get the picture. Um, you can see right here. All this right here is just stuff that's come out. But that's all just from right there. But, all right, I'll finish up. See ya. And this is about as done as I'm going to get. I didn't say... I didn't say dumb. I said done. Oh, there's a lot in there. And there's the bell. So... Well, I saw that. I didn't see that right there. Okay, I'll finish grabbing that and we'll be done uh, with that. And then I can put that head back on. Or the headers back on. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can get you in. Let me see a little bit better. That right there is just carburetor cleaner, so. <laughs> but I think that's about as good as I can get. Right there in that corner, it's kind of hard to get. I might go in there with a tiny screwdriver and lightly uh, scrape that off. Um, but I definitely don't want to scratch it or anything like that but whenever you have a, a corner like that with a round bit you really can't get in that corner um, so I'll go in there and get that out alright get back with me alright here's the other side um, as you can see, <laughs> needs the same thing done. Got all that build up. And uh, what I think, let's see if you can see that without the light. Mm -hmm. Not really. Um, what I think, all that build up, I think that is from uh, where, where it got up to that slug. 
of that weld that was built up right there and it just kind of came right there and just stopped. But, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, That was from just, I can see just a little bit, but let me see all that. So. All right, I'll get after it. All right, um, I'll, I forgot if I showed this or not, but that's me just um, basically cutting out the, the thick welds and thinning that out a little bit. And you don't want to do too much of that because uh, it'll make those walls really thin and maybe that weld uh, could break but um, all I did was I just took the bulk of it out. So. All right, so uh, got the header back on, all snugged up. Um, and after I did that, I was kind of looking online and apparently there is, people do this a lot. It's a, it's a, common, uh, a common issue, I guess. But uh, something else that I was reading online is on your plug down in here there's a resistor and this is all live so I'm, I don't, I've never done this before but supposedly there's a resistor that's down in here and just get grab a flathead screwdriver and you have your original this little plug thingy flathead somebody may have already taken it off yeah I think somebody has yeah see they've already taken it off but there's a resistor and you just replace that resistor with a piece of solid steel and um, there's a spring that's in there make sure that spring goes back down in there but um, you basically get the resistor that's about this size and you cut you know a piece of metal and it looks like they just had a, an old bolt and they had cut that off to the same size as that resistor and then they put it down in there so there's the end of that so there you go all right well cool I guess uh, and from what I understand that that is mainly for is like uh, radios and uh, it, it causes interference with with radio signals um, and that kind of thing but you know since we're on a dirt bike I'm not gonna be playing on radio <laughs> but uh, I'll get that tie that up out of the way it's, it's pretty long but tie that up out of the way and then do another video some other day I got to go over to my parents house and help them uh, do some stuff Otherwise, it had cooled down enough to, to work, but 